member of faith, you gotta run all the way back there from a save point that is nowhere near it. Dead. Come on. Damn. I was hoping that he would have casted it on Titus. Ah, uh, they know he's got magic counter. I'm gonna go... Since I already showed off unlocking the ultimate weapon, I'll unlock Oren's ultimate weapon off-screen. Because it's exactly the same, just the person stands there, holds up their weapon, it goes in and unlocks, that's it. That's critical. Titus, 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 damn. Man, they just know he's got magic counter. <laughs> I'm on a roll. All right, so onwards, but not upwards, because we're not dead yet, sir. Now, one thing I find kind of funny, I mean, I guess they don't really explain it, but in almost every Final Fantasy game, oh, yeah. there is somebody who dies during a cutscene, and they don't explain why you can't just use a fucking Phoenix down to bring them back, like Eris in Final Fantasy VII, or... Yeah. What I find really fucking confusing and why they didn't just do that. Seymour, he clearly died. Tarmel was right there when we killed him. So why didn't Tarmel just use a phoenix down to bring him back? Like, they never really explain it. Like, they act as though phoenix down don't exist, but they clearly do. I mean, you would think if somebody's killed or murdered, you'd think that people would be like me and have a stockpile of Phoenix Downs, at least ten of them. So, oh, these people were killed by sin. Phoenix Down! I mean, I guess it's to give weight of your actions, like you... Like, Sin just killed this whole town and there's nothing you can do about it, but there is something you can do about it. Just nobody thinks about using a Phoenix Down. I'm on a roll. I mean, that would be my very first thought. I mean, having ready access to Phoenix Downs throughout the entirety of the game, like in Final Fantasy VII when Eris died, you, my first reaction wouldn't be, oh, she's dead, let's sink her to the bottom of that odd-shaped miniature lake. It would be, oh, Eris died, Phoenix Down, By the way, Chocobo Knight. I hate having to run all the way back. And I'm gonna have to do it with Makalania as well. Yeah. 
Yeah, these people run and try and stop us. Treaders! Oh, wait, my bad, sorry. But we're not traitors, we just want to talk to Ixion. Besides, there's nothing you can fucking do to stop us. We are way overpowered for you. This is like a level 20 area. Hell, not even level 20, more like level 15. The cloister of trials lies within. Are you prepared? I'm prepared to slap you in the face if you don't move. Come on, stupid. Computer screen fell asleep. Feels good to not have to go for those, uh, those, yeah, that should be good. Feels good to not have to go after the destruction spheres anymore. Up, I was just mashing the A button. I resent having to play back through this section. I mean, I kind of wish that they just would allow you to, um, that they would just allow you to automatically poof into the chamber of faith. I mean, I understand why they did it, because if you didn't get the destruction sphere, then this will be your second chance, but they should have something, they should have had something where if you already picked up the destruction sphere in the chest for it, then they should have just teleported you straight through. I mean, they do that on the exit. Why can't they do that on the entrance? Come on. Jump it. Thank you. And push. Oh man, imagine if you missed that jump, like you jump over to the platform. You're just gonna fall to your doom, cause the, uh, cause that platform the pillar or whatever, that thing just, if you don't have both of the uh, spheres on it, then it's just going to fall straight through into the abyss, and there's nothing under it for presumably miles, considering it just disappears. Oops, I gotta stop mashing the A button. And there we go.
Have y'all tried rice cakes, viewers? Those things are disgusting. I mean, it tastes like styrofoam to me. And yes, I've tasted styrofoam. I wasn't very bright as a kid. Well, we've made it back to the Chamber of Faith for Ixion. He looks like a pirate. For a long time, we've forgotten how to go forward. You remind us we must go forward. Yes, we must run. Let us go. You will share our dreaming. Come, and we will run to the dream's end. And we get a Lux Sphere. And two more chests. Magic Defense Sphere. And Agility Sphere. So yeah, it's a good idea to come through and do this anyways. Well, just two places left to go. The final showdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Macalania. Here we go. Do the Macarena on the Macalania. Seriously though, viewers, I do re I, I seriously resent having to run all the way back to the goddamn temple. I mean, this isn't fun, it's tedious. Sure, you can have a piece of equipment that has no encounters on it, but it would still make running back from that one spawn point that they'll allow you to go to all the way to the temple and get through the Chamber of Faith tedious. Yeah. 